Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a birthday card. This birthday card I created from the this month's My Monthly Hero card kit from Hero Arts. Each month on the first Monday a new card kit comes out and it features stamps and dies and inks and sometimes other things which are really a great deal at $34.99. There, if you check my channel, there's another video where I show some of the card kits that I have. Let's get started with this card. Okay, this is the card kit. It's a Cinco de Mayo themed and has these really cute little animals uh, doing... Uh, dancing and playing music and it also has many uh, dies that come with it. Let me show you this one. I did a, a cut out of it so that you could see the intricate detail that this die cut has. This is really so delicate and pretty. I'm not using it in this card design, oops, but I wanted to give you an opportunity to see this, this die cut in action. Okay, in addition to the My Monthly Hero, they are companion stamp sets with dies that come out and this is one of them for April. This is called Cinco de Meow and this is really cute and adorable. It has these little uh, musical kitty cats and a cat in a box and if you check my channel I've done one card already featuring this little cat in a box and I'll link to it down below. And there are also die cuts available for this stamp set. Additionally I will be using rhinestones and some yellow ribbon. Okay, let me move this out of the way and we can jump right in. Okay, I want to mention again about the pattern cardstock that I have. This is the packaging material from the My Monthly Hero. And it, when I had a video earlier on my channel showing the different card sets I had, I mentioned that this was uh, use, useful and you shouldn't throw the packaging away. And so here, this, this is the card that I mentioned that I'm going to make. Okay, that out of the way. Let's go. Now to do some stamping. I have my stamps already on the door of my Misty of where I need them to be. And this is for the, uh, the two mice. So I can't use my uh, magnet because I'm using the whole area. So I'm gonna just hope that I get it a good impression the first time. So this is pretty simple. Just gonna do this stamping and then move on. Now that this is dried a little bit, it's time to start right into the watercoloring. I'm going to demonstrate on this kitty cat and then I'll go through and do the rest of it because it's a lot of little itty bitty pieces here. So I'm gonna go all over with the blue gray of the kitty, but I'm just gonna highlight the edges of the, of the, uh, the stamp in key points where I wanna pull the color over. And I'm focusing on uh, the left side but just along the edge because I don't want to give it too much ink because then it will become overpowered. So I'm just going here and there. Uh, a little bit here and a little bit along this arm and here and then here. So now I'm going to just drag the water and blend it out. And as you see the color just flows really easily on this uh, Paper. This is Bristol Smooth uh, Watercolor Paper. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but it is. The smooth paper works best for the Zig markers. Glake? Where'd that come from? <laughs> so I'm getting a little bit too much water, so I'm tapping it off on my paper towel. And you just pull the color all across it like you see me doing, and it is very simple. So now I'm going to go and let that dry a little bit and move on to another area. The thing about watercoloring is you want to avoid working in two areas close together because the water can flow and then your colors will get uh, uh, muddy and that's not the look you want. So I'll speed this up and just go through and do the rest.
Okay, that is the coloring. I'm going to do a couple more spot things like I see the castanets. I didn't get those. Get that real quick. Okay, next step. And now that everything is colored, I'm going to use the die cuts and cut out the little pieces. I have my magnetic platform, which I'm pretty sure is going to hold these items still. But just to be sure, I'm going to use some of this uh, purple tape, which is low, low tack, to hold everything in place so that it doesn't move. And then I'm going to run it through. Now I have a finger dauber, and I'm going to uh, ink up the edges of this banner. You might have noticed that for this banner, I didn't do the printing of the banner, and I regret it not doing that. So I'm going to, I made sure I did it on this one. I think it looks a lot better. So you just go around the edges. It's very simple. And this adds a little bit more dimension to your cutout. And makes it uh, look a little bit more finished. Not too much though. Okay. Now the rest of the card is just going to be putting everything together. And I'm going to let the music run and assemble it. And I forgot to mention that I needed this uh, Fisker's Border Punch in the materials list. Okay, here we go. And that's the finished card. It's really a pretty card and I hope that you will try it yourself. And I wanted to show you the other cards that I made using the uh, background materials from the My Monthly Hero card set. And I'll link to these two videos below. 
So definitely do not throw away the package material on the My Monthly Hero. It's really helpful. Let me get this back in view. Sorry, it's covered in plastic, so it's a little <laughs> glary. Okay, I'd like to thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe. And I'd like to uh, thank my brother David for the music that he's providing, and I hope that you are enjoying it. I find myself making longer and longer videos so that I can spotlight as much of his, of his music as possible because it's really enjoyable. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day. Take care. Thank you.